Respect, not aging you love, respect page. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. I hope your day's come along well so far. Have a safe week, protect your energy, because not everybody's up in your time. You know, when you're a child of God, you don't gotta fake gas like somebody when God's working your favor and God allows you to become your best self version of yourself or God. So a child you experience from the child point of view, going to see adulthood. You know, when God is working in your favor at the end of the day, they don't understand how you became your best self version of yourself. It's not meant for them to understand. On God's time, when God was patient with you for a reason. And I say that respectfully. And you don't got to sit out here and fake gas like nobody at the end of the day. And I say that respectfully. Yo, you know, when you're minding your business with the mind of your business, trying to show for yourself at the end of the day, you just want good customer service. And I don't, I don't think I'm wrong for saying it. You just want good, properly good customer service. Like, I'm not understanding. Like, ma'am, sir, nobody told you to clock into this job. Like, I'm not understanding. You go into an establishment, you fill out an application, you fake gas like these people and say that you're such a, a, a good person of customer service and you would love to help the community, you would love to be a part of this establishment, and then you sit in there reevaluating your thought process after they said that you got the job. You sit in there like you don't want the job no more. It be the mindset for me. Because 9 out of 10, majority, sometimes, it all depends. You put names in your book. But sometimes when it comes to certain establishments or whatever the case may be, place of business, people hire people they know. And because they hire people they know, you know, people fake gas like the person just to get the job or whatever the case may be. And then people get too comfortable. Or if they don't get too comfortable, people get the job without having somebody they know within a company or whatever the case may be. Got people looking bad in the other day. Oh, it's so disgusting. And they get the job and then when you got a, a, a supervisor, whatever the case may be, that doesn't overlook certain things or just think that the, the employee is supposed to be doing what they supposed to be doing because they, they gave somebody a position to be a supervisor or a manager or you put a name to your book regardless to what job description or job title of the person is supposed to be in or your job title at the end of the day. You get too comfortable. Because you forget to do your job and be respectful to the consumer when they come into the, your establishment where someone is paying you. You're not, being, you're not the one who's providing checks to your employees. You're the employee. It's the mindset for me how people disrespect the consumer. Like, ma'am, sir, what happened to customer service at the end of the day? Regardless of what establishment you work for at the end of the day, when it's a place of business, business regardless if it's a government business or not at the end of the day, Regardless of if it's a small business at the end of the day, where is respecting the consumer? It's the mindset for me. Like people forget that they're a person too. Like it just it just it just be blown mind blown. Like, and then when some when 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 they have their own time or whatever the case may be, when somebody disrespect them, now is a problem. How? No, no, no. This is what you love to do. So you get in your karma, getting dealt with you. An unfair share here. That's how you treating a consumer that's coming to establishment to take care of their business at the end of the day. And it don't matter what kind of business it is now. No, it don't matter. It don't matter what kind of establishment it is. Mm -mm. A place of business is a place of business. A logo of a place of business is a place of business. Where you have consumers coming in to get a service. It's the mindset for me. If you don't want to show up to work with all your extra baggage, you need to let your supervisor know, like, listen, I got too much going on within my thought process. Can you remove me from not working with people because I'm not, I don't have good customer service? Or can you train me in this department so I can have better customer service? And the fact that people don't overlook to see what these people are doing, it makes it look bad on their company. And it makes it look bad on their name down. Being that they're the supervisor and they don't know what's going on because now they're walking into a situation blindsided as to I'm supposed to trust my employees to do their job. I gave you a position to do a job and you can't even do your job properly. And it don't matter what kind of establishment it is. And I say that respectfully. It's the mindset for me when you're dealing with consumers at the end of the day. Customer service is supposed to be on point. People be deal dealing with discrimination disrespected for what then you say you doing your job and you're not doing your job it's the mindset for me and then you want to sit there and manipulate the situation when the supervisor has to override everything now because you done messed up and they try to figure out 
what, what, what was it that you did that you didn't do properly or what is it that you didn't overlook or what is it what is it that you decided not to do show up to work and do your job and do what happened ma'am sir whoever you are it's the mindset for me like when you show up to work you show up as your best self vision of yourself and especially when someone else is paying you to be on their clock and i say that respectfully you get a handbook manual as to guidelines as to what she's supposed to do. And you're supposed to remember that customer service is part of it. And that you're dealing with the public. Because you remember, before you apply for this job, and it doesn't matter what degree you have. It don't matter what kind of degree you have. Nah, because people feel like at the end of the day, because they got degrees and all that, they can still disrespect people when they showing up for somebody else's, to be on somebody else's clock and disrespect the consumer. It's the mindset for me. But then quick to throw in somebody's face that you got a degree. How disrespectful are you? But you don't have a degree with common sense to respect your neighbor at the end of the day because that could be you, someone disrespecting you, and you want somebody to have sympathy for you. And you will want somebody to do their job when it comes to you. Stop being one-sided. It's the mindset for me. And it don't matter what establishment it is. It don't. A place of business is a place of business. It could be a doctor's office, a lawyer's office, a hospital, a government building, a supermarket, a corner store. It don't matter. Don't pick and choose when you want to respect somebody and then play the manipulation game like, oh, I don't move like that. You see how everybody else is respecting me? Nah, but you just pointed your finger at who, who you want to point your finger at at the end of the day. Who, how you want to treat, who, how you want to treat them. It's the mindset for me. When you clock into somebody's clock on, at the end of the day, somebody else's clock and they're paying you to be on their clock or they gave you a position because they thought that you was responsible, reliable, and trustworthy to be on their clock, to do this position. They gave you the position for a reason, to be a leader. It's the mindset for me. Either just to be a leader or just to fulfill the shoes of this position that you had a degree in, or to fulfill this position that you had a certification in. You know, it, it don't matter if you have a certification or a degree nowadays, it don't matter. When you got common sense to show up for yourself, to respect yourself, you know, when it comes to training, a person without a degree can learn their job faster than you. And I say that respectfully. It's, it's, it's real disrespectful how y'all dis disrespect the consumers. It's sad. And then when a the consumer speaks up for themselves, they're wrong. They are, they're being manipulated. They're being disrespected still because now somebody's trying to cover their job. And that has nothing to do with the consumer when the consumer just came to take care of their business or to get a service. It's the mindset for me. Protect your energy because not everybody's over your time. Just because someone gave up on you, don't give up on yourself. Just because someone overlooked you, don't give up on yourself. You are genuinely love all the right people. You are genuinely respect of all the right people. And you should be you deserve to be treated with respect. 365 days with no malicious intentions to bring harm towards you and others around you. Never allow the enemy or hate in disguise or personal malicious intentions. Psyche watch your thought process loving your freedom or your eyesight or your pockets in the day. Or because they want to have controlling issues. Or because they don't want to see you elevate faster than them. I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe day and have a safe remaining week. Protect, excuse me, protect your energy. Because not everybody's serving your time. No, they're not. God is good. And I truly appreciate your time to the genuine ones only. Have a safe week. Now your genuine love, respect. Love yourself, love yourself with God's protection from every direction. Respect.